If you're having problems with your Roku remote, don't worry, you're on the right video. Let's go ahead and help you on out. I'm gonna go to settings, and then you can see remotes and devices. Over here, we've got remotes. My current remote that I'm using right now is the enhanced voice remote. And over here, you'll find that you can find the remote. So what that means is it will beep and have some sounds coming out of the speaker right here. You can change the remote finder sound, preview it. Um, you could also set up the remote for TV control and forget the remote. Now I'm assuming your remote control is not working at this particular time, that it's not communicating to your Roku, but we want to add a new remote. How do we do that? Well, we can use our app, the Roku app. Make sure you download it on your Android or iPhone. You'll log on in at that top little icon, that person right there. And at the bottom here, you'll click on remote. So now we can control our device. So we've got the D-pad here. I'm gonna go up to add a remote, click okay. And there you go. So this is important. Understand where the microphone pinhole is on the remote control. Okay, so it could be either right below the power button or to the left of the power button. And so we'll look at my remote. Which one is it? You got it. It's below the power button. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And then it says press and hold the pairing button on the back of the remote for five seconds. That pairing button is right here. You'll see the light turn green and flash like that. It's right below the battery. So how do you do that? Let's go down here, take the lid off. And this is what we're talking about. So this should be flashing green. If we hold down and now it's flashing green, right? And it moved on over to pairing. All right, looks like it was able to do it. It says you're done. That was pretty easy, huh? All done. So yeah, that is how you pair your Roku remote. You basically at any point can just hold down this button, wait for it to flash, and it will automatically sync on up to your Roku device. So at any point you can really pair your remote by just holding down that button right here and it'll flash and go into pairing mode. You don't have to go through that whole settings page, but I just wanted to visually show you what was going on. Hopefully you found that helpful. And if you want any more tips, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below and I'll make a video about it. So subscribe to my channel to get more. See ya.